Uh, well, we are going to start with IELTS speaking part one and you have to listen carefully as well, whatever the questions are, because you know sometimes the questions I'm going to ask her, in your real test you get the same questions. So if you listen to her carefully and see my feedback about it, then you'll be able to answer properly when it's going to be your turn. Uh, please sit down, get a chair and sit down. So uh, for you, the topic is sharing. Right. And again, I tell you in speaking part one, they will not see how well you have covered the topic. They will just see how well you speak. So whatever the topic is. Now, for example, if I ask you one question, what's your favorite color? Ten people will answer in ten different ways. OK, so don't just try to copy or imitate any answer. You just need to give answer according to your understanding. Now, sharing means to share things with others. Right. So the first question is, did you share anything with others when you were a child? Now, this question is in the past. So you will answer using the past tense. So you can just start your answer. When I was a child, I used to share my things with my siblings. And then you can elaborate a little. Right. Now, don't think when I was small, I never shared anything with anybody. I was a very mean child. OK, so don't think like that. You need to answer decently. It's just like that, you know, uh, those, uh, like someone come, someone has come to your house to see your rishta. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you answer everything very nicely. Yeah, yeah, I'm a very nice person. I'm a very nice guy and all that. So you need to answer everything very, very nicely, positively, happily. Remember, they will give you bench score the way you speak English. So that's why speak confidently give good answers happily happily excitedly and you will get good bench score so now we take a start did you share uh, anything with others or did you share things with others when you were a child yes when i was a child uh, i shared always my things to others with others uh, with others and my uh, siblings also because i like too much to share my all things to others it's, uh, it's make me happy uh, it made me happy because your question is in the past tense, so it always made me happy. That's why I shared my things with my siblings all the time, something like that. Uh, you must conclude your answer with one sentence. At the end, whatever you have spoken, just conclude in one sentence. So, as a child, I loved to share my things with my siblings, right? Let's go on. Did your parents teach you to share things with others when you were a child? Yes, when I was a child, my uh, parents always teach me. My uh, parents always taught me. Teach is present. So my parents always taught me. My parents always taught me about sharing the things because it's a good habit. So that's why uh, uh, I very enjoy to share all my things. To yeah, them. I enjoyed very much sharing all my things with others. Right. What kind of things do you like to share with others? Now it's present. What kind of things? Do you like to share with others? Mostly I would like to share uh, my money also with others who is uh, very poor and uh, he need money. So uh, I would like to share this money to others. Okay, right. What kind of things are not suitable for sharing? Uh, it's about my personal things uh, like uh, which is uh, attached to my uh, personal profile. So I don't like to share these things to others. You need to mention something also. You just said personal things and all that. You should mention, like for example, I don't like to share clothes with anyone because you might catch some diseases if you share clothes with others. On the other hand, I never share my mobile or something like that. So please answer again. What kind of things are not suitable for sharing? I don't like to share my uh, personal thing like cloth to others because uh, uh, it's my it's related to my personal. So that's why I don't like. Uh, to share you're it. using the word clothes. So for clothes, we will not use it. We will use they. They are quite personal. That's mm. why I would never like to share my clothes with anyone. On the other hand, mobiles, I never like to share my mobile with anyone. Anything like that. Okay, uh, let's move on. I've got one more question. Do you think sharing is caring? Yes, uh, sharing is very important and uh, uh, which shares I to uh, which I share to other things is uh, very important. Uh, they are very important. They when you say important. things, 
then you say they are very important. When you say thing, singular, then you say it is very important, right? So these mistakes should be overcome. Please answer again. Do you think sharing is caring? Say, yes, I strongly believe sharing is caring. When you share your things with others, you actually show your caring nature. So I think we should share things so that anything like that. So please answer again. Do you think sharing is caring? Uh, yes, sharing is uh, caring is very important because when we share this uh, over things to others with others with others, so it's uh, uh, made me very very happy feelings. It makes me very happy, or this gives me a happy feeling. Uh, some of your answers are short grammatical mistakes. You should overcome those, right? Okay, okay let's move on. Please hold, uh, get the mic. <coughs> All right, now for him, the topic is very simple, drinking water. You never know, for examiner, topics are topics. But for candidates, topics are easy and topics are difficult. But from examiner's point of view, topics are just topic. No easy, no difficult and all that, right? So his topic is drinking water. Now the first question is, do you think we should drink a lot of water? Definitely, I think we should uh, drink a lot of water uh, and uh, it's a good for immunity as well. It's good for immunity. Good for immunity as well and also it uh, hydrates all the body. It hydrates. It hydrates all. It. It hydrates all the body. And uh, um, if I talk about myself, I often uh, drink water and uh, about eight uh, glass of water eight in a day. Glasses. Eight glasses of water in a day. Uh, because uh, my body need and it needs needs my it's body needs and also it is an average to eat at least eight glass of to water. eat glasses. or to drink huh? uh, drink drink okay I'm very good say. so most of your mistakes are related to subject verb agreement mm -hmm. you said body need it is body needs, needs. then you said eight glass of water glasses. eight glasses of water plural. singular plural okay let's move on now, you answered already. Uh, if they ask you a question which you have answered already, never say that, I already told you, madam. <laughs> never say that. Answer in a different way. Okay. You know, sometimes uh, the examiners are old and they've got short memory and all that. So you answered something and they ask you again. Now, second time, answer in a different way. Don't give the same answer. Yes, you can say, as I have already told you, as I have already said before, and then you can give a different answer, right? Now, my next question is, how often do you drink water? So you can take a start. As I have already told you, I drink 8 to 10 glasses of water. So first of all, and then. So please, how often do you drink water? As I told you in my previous uh, uh, um, uh, question, uh, I often uh, drink water. Uh, two time in the morning and one uh, in just a second how often do you drink first of all you can say i drink three to four liters water every day okay. as i've already mentioned first of all in the morning i drink half liter water something like that okay, okay. so please answer again how often do you drink water i often uh, drink water every every time almost every hour later uh, and in this morning i uh, drink about uh, don't say liter. this morning. This morning is past. You should say every morning. Okay. Yeah. Every morning I drink at least uh, uh, 500 ml uh, water uh, because because uh, because it's a need of my body in the morning. Okay. Now listen, 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 listen. I'm sorry to interrupt you because I want you to give very good okay. answers when you go for your IELTS speaking test. Uh, how often do you drink water? Does not mean quantity. Mm -hmm. It means frequency. How often do you drink water? I drink water three times a day. First of all, in the morning when I wake up, I drink at least two to three glasses of water. After that, right after, before my lunch, I drink at least a couple of glasses. And in the evening, again, I drink three to four glasses of water. Morning, afternoon, evening. How often? How often means how many times a day? So you can, you can talk like that. Let's go on. Do you drink bottled water or water from tap? Uh, definitely, I prefer to drink. Uh, I prefer or I, prefer I give preference to. Okay, let me modify the question. Mm -hmm. Do you drink bottled water or water from water filter or water plant? Okay. 
here. I, I definitely prefer to uh, uh, filtered water. Filtered uh, water. Filtered water because uh, it's a good and it's all. It's our good is wrong. It's good. It's good. It's good for me. Yeah, it's good for me and for my body as well. And uh, I, whenever uh, uh, it's available, uh, bottled water, then I would definitely. Whenever the bottled water is, is available. available. Don't say it's available. Whenever the bottled water is available. Okay. Whenever the bottled water is available, I definitely drink that bottled okay. water. Okay. Uh, what kind of water do you like to drink? Warm or cold? Uh, not too much warm and not too much cold. Uh, I prefer uh, it's a normal temperature. And uh, uh, I prefer it's a normal temperature is grammatically wrong. I prefer the water which has normal temperature. I prefer the water which has normal temperature. So, what kind of water do you like to drink, hot or cold? I prefer the, uh, I prefer water, uh, the water that has a normal temperature, not too much cold and not too much uh, hot, uh, because if I, if I am, uh, I, uh, I drink a uh, hot water. Uh, I drink hot water, I not a uh, hot. I drink hot water, uh, my tongue become too much uh, um, my bad tongue may burn. May Black burn. Hundi, don't worry. Bad. Okay. I mean. Okay. Say, bad. <laughs> bad. I'm saying bad. <laughs> okay. Okay. So uh, may, my, my tongue may tongue may, may get burned. May get burned. And if I uh, if I drink a cold water, you don't say a cold water. Water is uncountable okay. noun. Yeah, you can say if I drink a glass of cold water, okay. or if I drink some cold water, it's bad for my teeth as well teeth and tr throat and all yes. that okay this is good do you understand your mistakes sure. and all that uh, please pass on the mic <coughs> okay uh, we now move on and for you the topic is being bored you know when you have nothing to do you feel bored you are all alone, no one is home, you feel bored and all that. So, my first question is, what do you do when you feel bored? Sir, please can you explain? Uh, listen, bored? what do you do when you feel bored? Now, usually you can say, I do nothing when I feel bored. Because when there is nothing to do, only at that time I feel bored. So, sometimes I play games on my mobile when I feel bored. Otherwise, I switch on TV and watch some programs on TV. And if I feel bored too much, then I go to the kitchen and make something. This is how I overcome my boredom. Right? You can answer like that. So, uh, what do you do when you feel bored? When I feel bored, I want I want to like to read read the, read the books because I love to re I love reading and mostly I read novels uh, because I think it's a good way of learning and uh, uh, I don't like to waste my time. That's why I read the books. Okay, I read the books when I feel bored. Otherwise, topic will be changed. Otherwise, topic is book reading. So you need to link it with the feeling of boredom. Let's go on. What kind of things are boring to you? Uh, mostly when I listen to news, I feel bored and okay. And uh, I feel uh, stressed when I listen to uh, news. That's why I avoid to listen to news. Okay. In the past, we used to use listen to news. But now we don't listen to the news. We actually watch the news. Okay. So for now, we watch the news. Yasin? It needs the battery change. So now we watch the news. That's why you should use watch the news. Don't say listen to the news. We listen to the news on radio and all that stuff. Let's go on. Uh, do you think young people are more likely to get bored? Do you think young people are more likely to get bored? Means do you think young people get bored most of the time? No, I don't think because now I don't think so because no, I don't think so because nowadays life has become too much easy, uh, too much difficult, and everyone has many work in their lives. Like uh, uh, students are reading in different books, and they have many other work. I don't think they are bored in their life. Okay, what do you do if you feel bored at the weekend? Uh, if I am feeling bored. If I feel bored if at I the weekend, I. 
if I feel bored at the weekend, I usually go to my friend's house and get a party together. That's why I uh, make a, a good weekend of mine. Okay. Uh, how do you entertain yourself when you are alone? Uh, I said before, I love... As I said before? As I said before, I love reading and I mostly ta I spend my time in reading novels and different books. Yes, yeah, so whenever I'm alone, I entertain myself, myself by reading a very good book. Okay. okay, so this is how you can just complete your answer. All right, so I've just told you about your mistakes. You can overcome those mistakes and make your speaking better. Let me tell you, speaking part one provides you an opportunity to take a very good start. Impress the examiner in the beginning. And then you move on and you can end up getting a good bench score, right? Thank you. All the best.